through completely natural processes of physics and chemistry and biology. Some species emerged on our planet that could turn around and understand physics, chemistry and biology. It's very clear that even at the most superficial qualitative level, socioeconomic organizations have much in common with biology. Trying to explain the rise of the state uh, is, uh, is certainly one of the, the great big questions in, uh, in archaeology and in history today. With the generous support of the John Templeton Foundation, uh, Santa Fe Institute is undertaking a series of studies about the evolution of complexity from the cellular level on one end all the way up to human societies. You see what looks like just kind of a random agglomeration of plants and trees and shrubs and in the distance uh, a city with houses and roads and so on and it just looks like some random mess and yet amazingly there is extraordinary regularity to everything we see out there. But if you ask what are the ingredients of intelligence, then you see that intelligence is present everywhere in nature. It's present in simple cells, it's present in plants, it's present in animals, it's present in others, it's even present in societies. Our current understandings in, in, in most general form of, of the rise of early states is, is that they uh, develop in the context uh, of competing chiefdoms. That is, uh, you know, small, smaller scale uh, groups uh, in, a, in, a, in a given landscape who are competing uh, for resources, uh, for, you know, for, for, lab for labor, uh, and, and so on. Why have forms of life, all of which are in some sense intelligent at different scales, um, emerged? Is uh, New York City a great big whale? is uh, Microsoft an elephant uh, and uh, in what ways are they or is, in what ways aren't they? Is there something built into the theory, the basic theory of evolution that tells us that we should expect to observe, given sufficient time, life that has our basic ingredients of intelligence at our scale or beyond? Why did uh, the, the path to statehood uh, happen in, in some circumstances and not happen in seemingly uh, identical kinds of, of, of uh, situations. Can we put this into a mathematical framework? Can we make a kind of quantitative, predictive science of these phenomena? In some fundamental sense, this grant funded by the Templeton Foundation allows us to, be in, to answer those questions, to begin to answer those questions. And I think those are really extremely important questions for us to understand um, as points of departure for developing theories. SFI is, is certainly uh, in a terrific position to study these complex adaptive systems. And this is the great hope in some ways. Can it actually be in some ways a practical importance and have significant impact on the well-being well -being of my fellow human beings?